here we are once again back feeling good hope you guys enjoyed the holiday it took me a little break hope you guys enjoy had a great time spent time with the family did whatever you did just hope you had a great time but now it's back to making videos because that's what i'm about today video i'm gonna show you guys how to easily or my pretty much my favorite way of recording inside of fs studio i'm about to go hard on this recording videos vocal mixing tutorials uh vocal effect tutorials all that good stuff so i gotta get you guys up to speed and show you guys how to record so that way we can get to these videos because i got a bunch planned and i'm excited because i'm ready to get back into the actual artistry stuff of production and not just the making beats and doing product reviews and all that let's go ahead jump inside fs studio i'm gonna show you guys how to set up so you can record some good sounding vocals inside of FS Studio and pretty easy as well so let's go to it so here we are inside of FS Studio I got a few things already set up I'm gonna walk through you the whole setup process it's pretty simple um this video is not gonna show you these uh effects I'm using nothing like that those are gonna be in later videos this video is just pretty much show you how to set up your FL Studio for recording purposes only and how to get you know started with recording and stuff like that so first off, um, you want to make sure you have a few things in check before we start. So first off, your buffer size. Now, I explained this in some older videos, but people still didn't really understand what I meant by buffer size. Now, buffer size basically is the time it takes for the audio to go through your microphone and go into your interface and then put it to the computer. Now, the lower the buffer size, the faster it can process that, meaning the more real time the audio is. So if you're trying to record in real time and hear yourself through the DAW and stuff like that, then with no delay or anything like that, then you want to have it set low. But it's very hard and taxing on the computer unless you got a really high spec computer or something like that or you got a really good interface such like thunderbolt or usb type 3 uh, usb type c or usb 3 you know you have a problem usb 2 interfaces usually have struggle in this category so you have to bump the buffer size up now of course the higher you go the more delay you introduce into your recording so try to keep it as low as possible a recommendation from me is i would say try anywhere between 64 if your interface can handle it your computer can handle it 64 is like perfect or somewhere around things like 256 i think it is let me just double check real quick yeah two so here's the control panel for my interface but if i go to buffer settings go to uh, preferences and then where is it yeah buffer settings yeah in it, like 256 between 64 and 256 is usually a good place to go in there you might get away with 512 you might have a little bit of delay but just keep in mind um the more plugins you use the more that delay is going to be um prominent so do be careful so yeah Go ahead and set your buffer size and get it set right and do some test recording to see if it's just enough delay to get by and if it's not really you know slowing out your computer with pops and clicks and stuff like that so once you got your buffer size set up now let's go into fs studio so i got a beat portal right here just from a good homie of mine his name is carter x i'll put his links in the description below he's a really dope producer we're gonna be doing some videos he's actually done some major placements and all that so we're gonna do some videos soon probably bring him to the channel and all that so yeah check him out description below he makes some dope beats and he's got some tutorials he's coming as well so yeah shout out to him so got a beat right now. I already got to put in. I got it set to the right tempo and all that good stuff. So we're good on that note. So when you come to recording FS Studio, FS Studio does not work in a traditional linear way or um, recording. It's basically modular, meaning you can record however you want to. There's like 50 different ways to record. You can use Edison. You record into the playlist. You record into the pattern editor. There's just so many ways to record inside FS Studio. But the way I like to record is like the like I like to try to keep a traditional workflow, but in an FS Studio type of way. So the thing I like about FS Studio. 20 and above which you know i would recommend getting it because there's no difference in sound quality or anything like that they both sound the same it just you know fl20 makes things a lot easier I'll make a video about that coming up soon is that you can actually set the actual channels over here to tracks to a specific input so if you right click and i think this happened in fl is it's fl 20.5 i think or higher something like that if you go in here you get track mode and you go to audio track and you actually set an insert you can set all these inserts you got up to 125 which should, i think there's more but you know that should be enough for you and you can actually set the insert so basically it's going to record it's gonna make a little track for uh track number two and now you can go ahead and set it up to record and it always recording there so for example now i'm gonna set my microphone when you want to go record you want to make sure you set the right microphone for your recording i have two and my microphone right here is this one right here so i'm gonna go ahead and mute myself in obs and then so you hear me through actual fs studio so now you should be hearing me coming through FL Studio. You can see the meters going up and all that. So that's right, right. So you can see right there. So I got the actual microphone set up. Input one. If it's input two, three, four, whatever, select your input for your microphone that you're going to be recording. So now we got that. Now you can start adding your effects. But like I said, be careful when you add in the effects it will introduce latency depending on your buffer size and your interface so the better the interface 
the uh, less latency you got, the cheaper the interface, the more latency. So you got to experiment with it. Some plugins are less CPU uses. Stock plugins are always a good choice. If you want to record plugins and not have no type of like delay or anything like that, stock plugins are all the way to go. And you can replace them with third party plugins of your, of your choice, like Waze and all that good stuff, depending on, you know, what you want to use and what you're trying to go for. So now I got this set up. I got my fix set up. I got auto, I got an EQ set up to do, cut some lows. I have an auto tune set up to record some auto tune. I'm gonna do a little singing for you guys. You don't know, I guess auto tune is coming up. And then I got just a gate with a compressor right there. So just something simple, not doing nothing too crazy right now, but just gonna show you how to record. So I'm gonna go ahead and record a little patches right now. And I'm gonna show you guys how you can actually record a second patches on top of that. So let me go ahead and activate my effects. Yo, 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 yeah. Ooh, yeah. All right, so let's go ahead and record something real quick and get into it. So get the countdown, let's go. Yeah, yeah. Shout out Carter X. Yeah, let's get it. Uh, I stay up on my grind. Oh, yeah. Say I stay up on my grind. Oh, I say I always on my grind, trying to get it. Niggas hating name me, but they know they cannot with it. I be going in all the time and I'm never giving up. Got a problem with me, say how my bad don't give no fuck. I be out here getting paper and I'm stacking on this money. You hating on me, laughing at me, boy, this is not funny. I be up on my ground when I swim and switching lanes. Y'all be hating on me, why? Cause y'all niggas super lame. All y'all sound the same, y'all ain't never gonna change up. 2021 coming up, we gotta get up. We gotta get our ass up and keep on making harder. They hating on us, why? Man, it's just how it is going. I'm just trying to kill it. I ain't got no time to waste You be talking shit, man, I know you hate Really on my grind, never giving up Got a prime with me, that's cool I don't get no fuck, let's go Alright, so, yeah, just a just a little taste right there, did you see? And you see it recorded right in there. Like I said, make sure you have it on song mode So you actually record in there And you can see the output Now, since I am recording this inside of uh the channel too now if i want to record on top of this say i want to do a like a punch in and i don't want to hear this section right here but i just want to hear you know i don't want to hear this at all because sometimes if you do this record again it actually record this on top of what you're recording and we don't want that so how you fix that is you just double click this and then send it to you know channel two or you can do like yeah just send to channel three and now if I go back into channel three, what I need to do, and this is what I don't like about FS Studio, it's a little bit, it's a, it's a workaround, but you gotta do it. If you go right here, and I think it is, I think I can do it right here. Let's see if it'll let me do it. Uh, there's a way to do it, but uh, what the, the long, the short of it is, if you wanna put the same effects on the next channel, you have to go in here, uh, just drag this save state preset, and it'll drag it over. It's a little workaround. FS Studio needs to really put in a feature where you can drag all the effects in the rack in there. And if there is a feature and I don't know about it, please leave it in the comments below. I would love to be able to know how to do that, you know, make it a lot quicker. But basically now I have the same effects on here. So now if I play it back, it's actually gonna play back on channel three because I now selected this on channel three. So, so play back. Yeah, yeah. And then I can actually now move this down and then say I want to go right here. I can now do a extra recording. I can do a punch in type shit. So if I want to, I just go ahead, turn my effects back on, and then. Really on my grind, never giving up. Got a prime with me, that's cool. I don't get no fuck. Let's go. And if they got a prime, tell them what's up. They don't really like me now, man. I keep giving up. I ain't never gonna stop. I just keep on moving. Hating on me, why, man? I keep on moving. I'm so hot, better bring your water. Hating on me while I shoot you like a mortar. Hit you from long range just like a sniper. Hating on me, boy, I can't swipe you. Oh, no, I can't rap down on that. But yeah, as you can see, I just recorded in a second passage. I can actually go in here and then I can actually trim it down if I want to. So I can just trim this down to right here, put it right there, and then I can double click it and add it to channel three as well. And then if I'm, when I say I'm done with the whole recording, if I highlight everything, so if I go right here, highlight all this, and then go right here, and it should be a tool. I think it's, uh yeah, consolidate, select it from start. Just let it consolidate. And there you go. Now you got one chant, you got one track right there. So you actually mute that one. And you got the, well, actually take it back. You mute that. Now you just consolidate it all to one track. And if I play, yeah, yeah. 
Shout out Carter X. Yeah, let's get it. Uh, I stay up on my grind. Oh, yeah. Say I stay up on my grind. Oh, I say I always on my grind trying to get it. Niggas hating name me, but they know I cannot with it. I be going in all the time and I'm never giving up. Got a problem. Now, the one thing about it, if you consolidate it, it will actually render it out. So make sure that you have all your fixing checked. If not, you can just keep it like this and you can change it, you know, like that. And it should unmute. Why is it muted? There we go. Always on my grind trying to get it. Niggas hating name me, but they know they cannot with it. I be going in all the time and I'm never giving up. Got a problem with me, saving how my bed don't give no fuck. I be out here getting paper and I'm stacking on this money. You hating on me, laughing at me, boy, this is not funny. I be up on my grind when I swim and switch lanes. Y'all be hating on me, why? Cause y'all niggas super lame. All y'all sound the same, y'all ain't never gonna change up. 2021 coming up, we gotta get up. We gotta get our ass up and keep on making harder. They hating on us, why? Man, it's just how it is going. I'm just trying to kill it. I ain't got no time to waste. You be talking shit, man. I know you hate. And yeah. Oh, take that off. So yeah. That's how simple it is. That's just one way I like to record. It's pretty simple. Like I said you go. It's pretty much give that kind of linear way of recording, like you would have in traditional DAWs, but in the FL Studio fashion. So you know, it is what it is. I mean, I like it. I think it sounds really good. I think it sounds dope. But that's really up to you to decide for yourself. It is something that you like yourself. Like I said, that's just one way I like to record. I'm definitely gonna be showing you guys more techniques on how to record and ways of getting around recording inside FS Studio. So just make sure you stay tuned, subscribe to the channel. Cause like I said, a lot of you guys are subscribed to my channel. Help your boy out. Just trying to hit 100K. I would love that, and I'll be good. I won't ever. If I hit 100K, I will never ask ever again for subscription subscribers. Just whatever. Just help me hit 100K, please. Let's do that. So with that being said, if you guys enjoy, like always, y'all know who it is. Your boy Slim, aka Mr. Different, your favorite nappy headed producer, not motivated by the money. But the like, comments, guys, and views. And with that being said, I hope you guys enjoy like always. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Have a good one, everybody. I'm out. Yay.